Spiritual Teaching 259 1. Welcome, my disciples, you have come to listen to my teaching and I prepare the banquet for you, so that you feed on the delicacies of eternal life. 2. If your flesh is weak, your spirit, on the other hand, is strong to obey me. Blessed be the disciple who has prepared his heart by leaving what belongs to the world to come to listen to the word. 3. I come to offer your spirit the garment of grace, because through time you have torn to shreds the one I gave you. 4. My law is the doctrine that through the ages you have received, a law that you have not fulfilled and because of your disobedience you fell into confusion. Now I come again to illuminate you with the light of my Holy Spirit. 5. I have entrusted you with a jewel of incalculable value, so that it will shine before humanity, do not hide it or put it off. 6. On this day you commemorate my triumphal entry into ancient Jerusalem. Now the man also presents me with palms in his material hands, but in his heart I do not see peace. 7. At that time the crowds received me singing with their spirit the Hosanna, because they knew that the grace of the Lord was with them. In this way they bore witness that the Son of God was with men. 8. Later, when I arrived at the sacrifice in the holy altar of the cross, to teach you to fulfill your mission, many doubted that Jesus was the Son of the true God, the Lamb of God announced long before by the prophets, but thus it was written that the Lamb would illuminate you with his blood. 9. Now I come in spirit to give you again my teaching to spiritualize you, to dissipate with the light of my Holy Spirit, the darkness, so that you regenerate and let the virtues manifest themselves in their fullness. 10. Humanity has not yet heard this word. They do not know each other and I have named you, the mighty Israel, because you will rise up full of my strength to bear witness to my spiritual presence among humanity, so that you carry my truth and remove the chalice of bitterness that is pressing the world at this time. 11. Among you is the hungry wolf. You have to watch and pray, you have to practice my doctrine. The one who knows how to comply with my commands, you will feel my peace. 12. In this time I have spoken to you clearly so that you understand me. I have shown you that this path is clean and if the pain surprises you, it is not the Father who has given it to you, it is you who in your disobedience you have worked. 13. See that I am infinite, sublime and holy love, that I love everyone, but I say to you, love as the Father loves you, because I will continue to love you at all times. 14. I have come to purify you, like gold in the crucible, so that you may be the example to humanity. It is necessary that you understand my teachings, so that you may be among your brothers, a torch of light that illuminates all spirits. 15. It is to your spirit that I come to give eternal life, because it has sprouted from me, to it I come to prepare you to obey and know how to communicate with me from spirit to spirit. 16. Show me your palms spiritually, because material palms do not reach me. You are living the time when humanity drains a cup of pain. Watch and pray that this pain does not surprise you. 17. In these days humanity commemorates my passion, but truly I tell you, that now you are in the time in which I have come to resurrect you. 18. Great is the pain in my spirit to contemplate that humanity in its fanaticism. Confusion and sin still continues crucifying me. But you, chosen people, who are the enlightened ones, practice my true doctrine, which will reign eternally among humanity. Men will not be able to retain my love or obscure my divine light. I come to strengthen yourselves and guide you with my word so that you will follow in my footsteps and fulfill my law. 19. Tomorrow you will rise in prayer to my divinity and illuminated by intuition, you will be guides on the path of your brothers. 20. The mission that I have entrusted to you is a mandate that you have to fulfill throughout the ages, because by you humanity has to receive my light and I will raise it up to the life of grace. 21. Israel, do not want to remain asleep, because if you do so, the elements of nature will awaken you and they will demand your failure to fulfill the sublime and delicate mission that I have entrusted to you. 22. 
I have made you recognize your gifts and the immensity of the lands that I entrust to you to clean and cultivate. 23. You are my children who are under my protection, under the foliage of the tree of life and your spirit has been of rejoicing. I say, chosen people, who of you who has implored my charity that has not received it? Blessed are you that recognizing my great benefits you rise up to testify that the Father has been with you, because for your witness great crowds will rise. 24. Testify that I have been with you, so that humanity may carry in its spirit the life of grace, so that they find in me the doctor of doctors and so that he may seek me from spirit to spirit. 25. In the second era my disciples spread my teaching for humanity to study, meditate and put into practice, but later man departed from the essence of my doctrine and forged his own law to guide the crowds. But I do not come to receive what man in his confusion and materiality has built. I only come to remind you that my true temple must be built in your heart and in your spirit. 26. During this time, those of you who have sought me, I have taught you to feel me in your heart, to engrave in it my teachings, so that you may be the people who live full of grace and light. 27. Prepare yourselves and rise up full of humility so that you bring this message of peace to humanity. Pray for it, that your Father will make his law recognized and practiced by all men, so that they may lead a life of grace and know to seek me from spirit to spirit. 28. Remember that I said, when two or three of you are gathered together in my name, I will be among you and I will manifest myself according to your preparation. 29. I have come at this time to give one more proof of my love to humanity by manifesting myself among you, people selected. 30. You have to give testimony to humanity and teach it that if you know how to prepare yourself, if you know how to shed your materiality, she will feel me and see me with her spirit. That is why I have come to speak to you through human understanding. And this communication through a sinner has been the proof of love that I have granted you so that you may receive my word and later take it to humanity. 31. Prepare yourselves, Israel, because the time of my communication through human understanding is short, and I do not want tomorrow for your lack of preparation you will feel like orphans and you will imitate the crowds that gather in their quarry temples and settle for ceremonies and material chants. Within those crowds, very few are those who have felt me, but I have come to you to prepare your heart and to enlighten your spirit, to give you my word full of love so that you feel my presence and be the ones who tomorrow will give your brothers this love and this peace. 32. If with my word full of love, you do not prepare your heart, then what will become of you, what will become of your fellow men? If you are living the time when great trials and whirlwinds are hitting humanity, there is no peace in hearts and if for moments that humanity surrenders to pleasures seeking consolation, in truth I tell you, within those pleasures they carry a suffering and sick spirit that does not feel my peace. In the recess they look for they only satisfy their material senses, but their spirits only carry pain. 33. That humanity has not felt me, whoever takes it has not yet arrived hand in hand and show you the way. I will receive her as innocent and with charity I will judge your faults, I will give you the opportunity to make up. But you, chosen people, who have listened to me, in whom I have manifested myself, how will you feel before me, if you arrive in spirit making your disobedience present to me? You are the ones graced by my spirit and I want to receive you with the fulfillment of your delicate mission. I do not want you to be the culprit in my presence. I want to receive you with my paternal smile and send you back into the world as spirits of light, as guides and protectors of your fellow men. 34. Truly I tell you, you have come before me, because Elijah has selected you from different paths, because you are the chosen whom Elijah has shown me as sheep. He who is within the fold of Elijah is defended by him, that tireless shepherd protects you from snares. 35. The Holy Spirit has come to enlighten you, but not only those of you who bear my divine seal have this grace, but everyone who prepares and rises to me, guided by Elijah. 36. The light of the Holy Spirit has come to illuminate you so that you may be with me in spirit and in truth. Here is the way where you will feel my love and find health. 37. I come to receive the sheep that Elijah makes present. He will keep looking for the wayward, because I will deliver my charity to all the peoples of the earth and to all generations to come. 
38. The master tells you, drink from this inexhaustible source its crystalline waters. Feed yourselves with the bread of eternal life. Take the fruit of the vine. Behold, at my table I have prepared the best place for you. 39. I ask you, Israel, what do you ask for the nations? Because this charity is not just for you. See that the nations have been surprised by the great trials of pain and I have said to you, Israel, if you watch and pray for your brothers, my will will be done in all humanity. 40. Men have mistaken my doctrine, but I have come among you to prepare you again with my teaching, with my wisdom, so that you may become my disciples and be the ones who will teach the world tomorrow and make my presence felt in your spirit. 41. The nations are preparing to launch new wars, but if you watch and pray, through you I will propose and deliver my peace to humanity. 42. I have come in spirit in this third era to raise you to life, like Lazarus from his grave. I have healed your leprosy and I have turned away your pain. 43. I have come to give you my teaching so that you carry my love in your hearts and thus prepare to rise up to guide humanity, to show you the tree that has given you shade and life in its fruits. Forty-four. Invite humanity to come to me to give it my Father's caress, to enlighten its spirit, to save it from a wide sea of evils, to give him milk and honey and remove the bitterness from his life. 45. If you speak this way to your brothers, you have fulfilled the mandate that I have given you throughout the ages. Listen, people beloved in yourselves, the voice of conscience and strengthen the purpose of loving me and loving your brothers. 46. I come seeking the love of your heart so that in it you may form a sanctuary for me. I love you. I have adorned you with my divine grace and I have enlightened you to be at my service. 47. In you I have deposited this word, that tomorrow will multiply like a good seed. Because when you no longer listen in this way, the crowds will be after my disciples to receive the teaching that they did not reach to listen through my spokespersons. You will teach them and I will be with them. You will be submissive and obedient to my law so that my work will serve as a bulwark and you will raise high the banner of spirituality. 48. Israel, the great tests are ready to be among humanity because men have wanted it that way, because in their heart is still the purpose of destruction and they have also formed their own God in this world. Moreover, before man does his own will, the Father will make himself felt again among humanity. You, my people, you will raise up to show again the ark of salvation that is my law, just as Noah spoke to humanity of that era. 49. Prepare yourselves, my people, so that you receive those who will come to you, give them my love, teach them to love one another, show them my law, kindle the flame of faith in their hearts and give them peace in my word, so that they feed on it in their paths. You will teach those crowds to seek me from spirit to spirit. 50. You have come to earth to fulfill this mission. That is why I have come to prepare you with my word, to quench your thirst of your spirit with these crystalline waters, to strengthen and anoint you. Strong you will rise to speak to humanity in my name. You will be my messengers and through you I will give you my light. 51. Rise up in prayer that I will be with you and in union with my spiritual world. Little by little you will awaken to humanity. Watch and pray for those who have not felt me and in their pain cry out and say to me, Father, Father, why do you not hear us? And you who already know how to seek me from spirit to spirit will teach your brothers to pray and seek me in the silence and the elevation of his own spirit. I will make them feel my forgiveness. I will give them the light and wisdom so that they comply with my law. 52. For those who have recognized me and are with me, I deliver those who perish in the wide sea of wickedness. I forgive and bless you. But you, who have received from your God, testify before humanity all that I have taught and revealed so that she also loves me and stands up in pursuit of her spiritual mission. 53. It is prophesied that at this time the new people of God, the people of Israel, and my word will appear on earth, will be fulfilled, but do not be confused believing that it is the Jewish people when I mention the new people of Israel, since the people I speak of will be made up of all races and all languages. 
Their union will not be material but spiritual, as well as its mission will be spiritual. 54. If in that first era Israel was formed with 12 tribes, now there will be 12 missions carried out by the new people, 12 different missions that, with their harmony, will give you the strength of an invincible people. 55. Men will not need to group together to form the new tribes, those I will form, giving each one a different position to play among humanity. 56. The gifts of intuition, revelation and inspiration will be awake in the spirit of the new Israel, because it will be through them that my messages come. 57. The men who form the new people will not be chosen on earth, but because of my love they will already be appointed or marked in their spirit, as evolved beings, as beings of light that will not be able to lose themselves from the path that he is tracing. 58. Just as in the first era Israel prepared and ordered to cross the desert in pursuit of the promised land, and each tribe was entrusted with a different mission, so at this time each other will strengthen spiritually and each one will fulfill with the mission entrusted to it. 59. You who are listening to me are only a part of that people that will be scattered throughout the earth and that will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. 60. That mark that some of you have received is only a symbol of the sign that brings everything into your spirit, the one who in this third era comes to fulfill a mission within the new people of Israel. 61. I have told you many times that everything your spirit possesses, it already brought with it before arriving on earth so that act that you call, the brand has been nothing more than a symbol. But be filled with joy because your mission it is already defined, because you already know what your destiny and your role will be within the new people. 62. You will be the herald that announces my orders to the peoples and you will be the ones who will reveal to humanity the divine message that I have made you. Bearers, because in that message all those sent and those appointed will be united, spiritually. You will announce to humanity this time in which all gifts and faculties have been unleashed of the Spirit and you will teach how to discover, develop and use them. 63. Inspiration, intuition, gift of words, healing, prophecy, revelation, spiritual communication. Here are the gifts that, poured out on my people, they will make of all men a new humanity. But pray, have faith, strength, so that you pour out peace, justice and charity among your brothers. 64. My envoys will be fulfilling missions everywhere within every institution. Your heart will ignore that he is fulfilling a spiritual task, but his spirit will be absolutely aware of what he does. He will be the one to do the sensing to the heart, the destiny that has come to fulfill on earth, and it will reveal to the mind what it has to accomplish. 65. How great is the responsibility of you who have received this message? Because you have to prepare to give testimony of what you heard and to give example and teaching of spirituality. 66. Not a single confusion should exist among you when the moment comes to open your lips to announce to humanity the good news, and both in your works, as in your words and writings, there will be truth and elevation. 67. Now I ask you, do you want to be the ones who give the warning voice to humanity, awakening it with the touch of a bell whose sound is that of truth calling hearts? Or do you want me to wait for it to disappear the last of your traces on earth, so that the new generations will give that witness to the peoples of the world? 68. I have not been wrong to send each one of you, even though you sometimes doubt your strength, to meet such a high destiny. 69. You doubt to be chosen or sent because you know your weaknesses, but I must tell you that those weaknesses they are not in the spirit that I sent, but in the flesh that serves as proof on earth. 70. The moment in which the spirit overcomes matter, it will come, and the light it will be done in all understanding. Then you will be one within you because there will be only one will, that of obeying the mandate written by the Father in your spirit, in order to be worthy children of the new people of Israel. 71. The divine light of the Master spreads throughout the world. I call upon my peasants so that they may graze at my table. Show your obedience and humility. Come feed yourselves so that you carry love, understanding and charity. 72. I, the Master of Teachers, set the perfect example to my peasants. I have been preparing my disciples in this third era, 
so that you are the hearts that fulfill the law and give the charity of which you are possessors. 73. I come to you, beloved disciples, to encourage you with my love, so that you can feel and know me, so that you know whose word you are listening to and you can understand it by penetrating into study and analysis. 74. Behold, beloved peasants, that darkness spreads over humanity, hatred, greed, and vanity, and you have great power. You are the ones who must speak about my work, so that the sick, the leper, the unbeliever can know what the divine word delivering is at this time. 75. You are the light of the world and shining among humanity, you are not yet known or recognized by men. 76. The incredulous humanity opens its lip to ignore my power, because it expects to contemplate the trials and wonders that I gave him in the second era. He feeds on idolatry because he has not known how to raise his spirit, he has not known how to pray, nor has he known to ask. 77. When I have taught you to ask, I have set you on the path of truth, elevation and preparation. I have told you, you will teach humanity to watch and pray. 78. Penetrate meditation, study and thus you will understand that the Master manifests himself in your humility to give you light, forgiveness and blessing, who has never abandoned you. I am with you to make your cross light, to give you comfort. 79. I have entrusted you with the plots and the tools so that you can till and cultivate the land. 80. Humanity is hungry and thirsty for the truth that I have entrusted to you. This humanity is heading towards darkness, towards the abyss, towards perdition. But there are hearts that love me, different languages, races and colors. I have only been making the call to the spirits without contemplating differences. 81. It is you, Israel, who must show them the way, who must give them my teaching. 82. Recognize the grace that you possess and the value of my word. Rise up as one heart, as one man and with a single will, to fulfill the mission that I have entrusted to you. 83. Love one another, unify yourselves and be an example of humility. Give my word, give health, give comfort, raise Lazarus from his grave and give light to the blind. Heal the paralytic and by these spiritual wonders, humanity will recognize me. 84. After 1950 you will no longer listen to me through the spokesperson, and then you will recognize that it was the Master, that it was the Holy Spirit who was communicating by human understanding. 85. Today as Father I come to give you my grace and as Teacher I come to teach you. I have called you with my ringing bell and I have called you from various paths to become at this time the guides of humanity. I have come to remind you of the mission that you must fulfill and I have prepared your spiritual eyes so you contemplate through symbols and figures. I have given you the gift of words so that you can bear witness to humanity of the revelations that you have received from me. 86. You are my chosen ones and I have told you. Wherever you walk, you will leave a trail of light, but so that you leave this footprint, you have to regenerate, you have to prepare. 87. If you put my teachings into practice, what can you fear from the world? I am speaking to you clearly so that you can understand me, so that you know how to imitate me. 88. I come to instruct you to give the world words of truth, so that you make my presence felt. Offer me the flowers of your heart, raise to my spirit the perfume of your good works, be a good example to your brothers and tomorrow, when you no longer hear me through these spokesmen, Get up as my good disciples to show this way to humanity. 89. Men have adulterated my work and become confused, but you prepare yourselves and do not fall into idolatry anymore, because the images made by human hands do not speak, feel or hear. Does my essence need to materialize to be close to you? The truth will triumph through the ages, but I have always given you words of truth so that you too will know how to bear witness to me. 90. Temptation, like a bird of prey, will want to strip you of your gifts, but you are in the time when you have freedom of beliefs, because the era of oppression has already passed and you must take advantage of this freedom and not let yourselves become the slaves of the wickedness and lies of men. 91. You impart this teaching with love because love is what I have given you, I have not taken the whip so that you believe in me, because if I did so, I would cease to be your father and your God. 92. On the roads and sidewalks of the world, 
You found the pain. Now contemplate this road where my truth is. Contemplate its greatness with your spiritual sight. I have entrusted you with keys, gifts, and power. Make good use of all this so that humanity will recognize you as my disciples. 93. It is the time in which you must prepare yourself so that you get up to fulfill your mission when you no longer listen through the spokespersons. I will never leave you. I will inspire you and speak to you from spirit to spirit so that you can fulfill your delicate mission. My peace be with you.